to my channel Jone is present and today's video is going to be a cute yellow eye makeup tutorial I wanted to do a spring summer esque yellow something tutorial I have been really digging the yellow lately if you couldn't tell I um changed my banner it used to be pink like since I've had a YouTube channel even like with my old YouTube channel my lip choice was the butter London again the butter the Butter London birthday suit. I am digging this color because it reminds me of my Buxom Hot Toddy. And I couldn't get it at my other Ulta that I work at. But now since I'm back home, I'm probably going to get it again. But I've been feeling this one. Like, it is the perfect nude for my skin complexion. Like, and you guys know I love a glossy lip. And I'm using the Demi Wispies by Ardell. Of course, because I wanted to do some nice dramatic eye makeup. I didn't want any dramatic lashes to take away from the eye makeup. So there you have it. But without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So I'm going to be using this soft ochre to put all against my lids just to make sure and guarantee that my yellow is going to be nice and pigmented against my skin because normally I like to use just concealer but the yellow wouldn't show up as well if I use concealer. So after applying, I'm just going to make sure I blend it in with my finger just to soften it up so it doesn't look as harsh when I start to blend. So for this entire look, I'm going to be using my Take Me To Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. I never use this palette, but I thought this was a great way to finally incorporate it into something. I wanted a yellow look. I already had this, so it was perfect to do this. And plus, I was really inspired by my NYX Vivid Yellow Liner. So this was a great way to start using makeup that I don't really use. So every single yellow that I'm using is basically from this palette, but what I'm just doing right now is just I'm going to apply the yellow and just blend until my hands fall off. Just because I want a nice little seamless look, I don't want anything too harsh, but guys this is beginner friendly. All I'm doing is just applying that dandelion-esque color, whatever, they don't have names, and blending, 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 and just like building up the color. So I wanted to add a darker brown to my crease just to make sure that the yellow pops out and it doesn't all just blend in with each other and just look kind of, you know, dull from afar or even up close. And the brown definitely gave it a little bit more depth than what it already had. Um, if you don't have the Morphe, you can just use a darker brown. I just don't recommend having like a brown that's close to your skin tone because that's what I tried when I first attempted the look, but it did not look good at all. So now I'm taking my paint pot once again and I'm gonna help, it's gonna help me clean up my eyelid. I don't really wanna do a cut crease just because my eyelids are pretty small and I really don't know how to do cut creases just yet, but I am definitely working on that right now. But it honestly helped me clean up my eye makeup. So 
So the PB&J palette had the creamiest white color that I had, so I had to just work with that. And I'm just going to apply it on my inner, well actually my entire lid, and then I'm going to start blending another shade onto my lid. But I just kind of want a gradient effect, something very subtle, but the white is going to help the glitter liner pop out so much more. Now I'm just taking the regular yellow that I use, not the dandelion color, and I'm going to use that to help blend and just, you know, create a nice gradient effect like I was just saying. So I'm just going to apply my regular black liner on the outer part in my wing and I'm going to have to clean that up because my eyeliner got stiff and it got chunky. And then now I'm going to use my Vivid NYX yellow liner so I can help. This eyeliner is going to help make the gold pop out more and have a base where you can actually see it and it looks a little bit more yellow than gold. So I got this eyeliner gold whatever glitter from the beauty supply store but it is cosmetic glitter so it's definitely okay for the hands I don't know what brand it is it was kind of random but any gold glitter that you have that is safe for the eyes is definitely okay to use and I just decided to use my um, primer and I mixed it with a little bit of eyelash glue just so I can take it off a little bit easier when it's time to take all this junk off my face So now I cleaned up my liner because guys, I don't know what was happening. That eyeliner started acting funky and then I just could not get it together. But everyone knows my eyeliner to be sharp. So now I'm going to take that um, paint pot again and put it under my eyelids. This is going to create a great base for my yellow shadow so it can be a little bit more pigmented. I am still kind of getting used to under eye shadow because I am not the best when it comes to applying that by far. Not the best. But I'm just going to apply the yellows like I did on the top of my lids in the same exact order and then I'm going to use a brown liner and a little bit of a brown powder as in face powder just to help blend it a lot more. I don't want the yellow too pigmented because I do want the main focus on the actual liner and eyelid like the top lid. I'm going to add my lashes and then I'm going to try to blend them as much as I can with my little itty bitty lashes because they are in shambles right now. And then I'm going to dip into my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, highlight, you know, the shebang that I always do. And then we're going to cut into these slow mos and I'm model for what I'm working with for y'all. so much for watching remember to like comment and subscribe and if you want to see more like beginner friendly um makeup tutorials that's like you know not as boring as i used to do then definitely go ahead this is kind of like my first like real like cut crease even though this really wasn't a cut crease it was kind of like let me clean my crease because this one is i can critique myself all day if i had a chance but i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna finish talking and then bounce i have some more fun makeup videos i've just been having a lot of inspiration with colors and i just want to experiment with stuff i'm tired of doing the boring everyday neutral looks that i do all the time so i just want to thank you guys so much for watching remember to like comment and subscribe and if you have any more like colors that you want me to base because i can do like a full like since this was basically like a yellow tutorial i can do like a blue i can do a purple i have some um pigments by nyx and i just want to try those out so i actually i'm going to do a purple one but i'm not going to do the same exact thing i'm going to try something a little bit different but i'm definitely going to be trying a lot of new things i will definitely talk to you guys next time and i hope you enjoyed my video